supposed to be a few minutes ahead of schedule today. Headed out, looking for some bass. Great day to be fishing as usual. Probably can't see my face too well in here because it's dark, ready to catch some bass. We need that big day. Every summer we have one day that's just a, a monster day. Still looking for it this summer. Got some nice fish, but today we're looking for that really, really big day. This week we had heat indexes at 109 degrees. And today, two days after that 109 heat index, look at that, we got 61 to start, and it's only going to drop as we get towards the lake. So we're going to see what's, what that's going to do to the fishing. I feel like I've had excuses all year, oh it's too windy, or the weather, and the weather has definitely factored in this summer. There hasn't been that stable, uh, what I would consider nice, warm, bassy kind of weather. So we're going to see what we can do. We're going to take what the lake gives us. And we're going to try for some big fish today. So let's have safe travels to our lake. Happy mid-morning, everybody. Mike from Fisher MN here. We had a slow start to the day. Went to a favorite lake that I like to go to in the Mille Lacs area, and nothing. Just felt like it was dead as all can be. So the nice thing about Minnesota is we've got plenty of lakes. I got a brand new lake that I'm at today. Uh, it's one that dad told me about a while ago, so I thought I'd give it a shot small lake we can work our way around it looking for some bass we'll try for some panfish hey at this point whatever wants to bite let's go fishing new waters summer 2020 first cast on a new lake area would have been probably great at sunup but we went to a different lake to start so let's do some lazy mid-morning bassing let's see if we can find a hungry fish or two shallow here Love to be here when the bite's on. It's miles of the stuff. Oh, speaking of the bite being on, that looked like a pretty good one too. We'll net our first bass from here. Oh, and lucky we did because I came out all right. Nice two and a half, maybe a little bit more. Right off the edge here, wanted that frog. Thank you, Mr. Bass. Middle of the morning. Nice to get a fish in the boat right away. Another lake with the frog bass. I think this is one of the few lakes in the area that I looked up and there we go. There was a nice one. You might be proving my point. I looked it up and they had a 20 incher on this lake listed. Not too often that you see a 20 incher. He's not 20. It's another little bass. Mid morning. Topwater pattern. Spicy all the way back in.
That looked like a bass. But it must have been a northern. Because I don't have a frog left. So, had about a 20 minute delay trying to figure out how to get some new legs into the green frog. We are back in business with an okay looking frog. I'm gonna use our wonderful leader from Tooth Shield Tackle. Worked great with a buzzbait last year, plus it'll make it quick if we wanna switch to chatterbait. We're kinda getting that good chatterbait wind. Not super stealthy with the uh, leader on but i think necessary minnesota we got a lot of northerns slash frog wreckers fish on what do we got new species it's a bass it feels like a good one ah a northern. Alright, not a horrible one. There we go. We'll take it. Got our tooth shield leader on there. Not gonna steal our bait with that on there. We're in 8.6. Just kind of slow rolling it over these weeds that are almost up to the top bumping into them every once in a while makes sense that they might be off the weed beds a little bit it's a bright sunshiny day maybe going out a little deeper I'm guessing there's some bass out here too there we go must have landed right on top of the fish There's a bass. All right. Getting our later in the day pattern established here. The bass here, I would say, are pretty chunky. He hit it just as it hit the water. Nice. All right, back to casting. Stopped for some panfish. Ended up with a couple of nice sunfish and a walleye, actually. All kinds of active fish. We're just working our way around the lake. First time at this lake. Let's stay right on this 10 and throw in a little shallower. Bumping it over the top of the weeds. We'll try this chatterbait for a little while. If we're not getting anything in this uh, 10 foot with higher weeds, we'll go to where it drops off a little bit and maybe put the crankbait on. We're in kind of a cleared out weed area with shallower weeds in a little further. I am going to put on Arashi. The bass and northerns have to be eating little sunfish. They were everywhere when I was up shallow. Fish on. There we go. That was cool, I kind of saw him come up for it. Find the right depth, get him with the crankbait. We had to search for some open areas and we still don't have a ton of open area. But once we found the right areas, the crankbait right away. Made a good clean cast. Got a fish. So in this case, I'm using the wind to my advantage. We just kind of went over the the drop. So I know right out this way is right along the edge. And as I cast, I'll let the wind push me back a little bit. And then I'll kind of aim into it again. And we can just kind of ride it like that all the way 
to the other side of the lake as we're exploring the whole lake since it's a new one to us. My next cast will be just, oh, there we go. <laughs> right by the boat. All right, another bass. There we go. Right by the boat. There we are. <laughs> Find the right area, right time of day. I didn't need to get up at 3.45 a.m. Middle of the day, catching fish, trying something a little different. Took a minute to find the edge that we needed, but now that we found it, we're finding some active fish here in the middle of the day. That is exactly where we've been getting them. Right off of that heavy stuff, we're gonna see if we can get another fish or two right here and then keep exploring. We've really hit this area hard and we've caught a lot of fish. Bass and Northerns. There we go. Fish on. That's a nicer bass. All right. Can you swing them? We're gonna swing them. There we go. What do we got? Bass or northern? Northern. We finally found some fish. Really nice to have some fish pulling on the line, moving from in shallow to kind of a medium depth with the chatterbait and out to a crankbait depth. Lots of fish pulling on the line. No monsters, but some pretty nice bass and some decent northerns too. Really nice to have happen after this morning. Man, what a bust that was getting up at 3.45 a.m., getting to the lake a half an hour before sunup and just having the lake not have anything going on. Brand new lake to me. It's a lake my dad mentioned. So thanks dad, appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna fish the same pattern, crankbait coming around to the last part of the lake that we haven't tried yet. And if I get some decent fish, you'll be sure to see them. How about a swim jig? That's right, I've been studying up on how to use the swim jig and I even bought a new rig. I want you to know every time that I'm using a swim jig, and you can bet when you see this bright orange thing in my hand, you're gonna know. It's a lose medium heavy setup called the mock smash. That's right, we're gonna mock smash them. All these years, no jig fishing, thought I'd give it a shot. I think I might wanna change my color. There it is, the Hack Attack Jig. Couple of little tricks that I learned from the videos. One is to trim the skirt down a bit so that the trailer, if you got the right trailer on, it's gonna have the action. All right, so I'm not gonna trim it too much, but a little bit. Looks like we got a biospawn trailer. There we go. First jig fish. Look at that. All right, there you have it. First jig bass with the mock crush setup. Even filmed on camera. Just never know when that line moves what kind of fish you're gonna have. We're gonna get jiggy with it to the landing. There we go. 
That's how you jig fish for a northern. There we go. <laughs> All right. Biggest bass of the day on a jig. Get this guy in the net. Not a monster of all monsters, but today that's our probably our biggest bass. All right, closing up shop here, almost to the landing. Got a couple of jig fish in the boat. I like my new setup. What a great way to end the day. I'm gonna try for a few more. I'll show you if I get some. So I guess the last piece of the puzzle today for catching fish is now that they stop biting the crankbait, working this jig real slow through heavy cover in deeper water. And it has been working. Pretty cool. There we go. northern it is a fun bite like you got it out there and then you kind of feel it stop its movement give it a half second then you just winch back on it I could definitely see oh I bet he, he tore it off I can see where you go through a lot of plastics all right we're gonna go to one arm guy Super secret tip from Fluke Master is the one arm method. This is some fun stuff learning something new. So I'm just casting out and letting it sink. And then since it's a swim jig, just reeling it real slow, keeping my rod up. Then if I feel a hit, I'll let my rod tip go down. And then Bring the hammer down on the old hook set. Definitely got to drive the hooks home. Just like when you're frog fishing. There's a hit and there's a fish. Hey everyone, finishing up my day here at a new lake for summer 2022. What a wonderful day of fishing. I was able to catch fish shallow medium and deep and that's not something that i can always say um, the shallow bite was frogs right off the bat after the shallow bite i decided i needed to move out a little bit so i took out the chatter bait went a little bit deeper and found a few bass the shallow and kind of the medium are pretty much in my comfort zone but then the deeper that's where i need a little bit of work so i've been working on crankbait and definitely I was able to find a lot of fish with the crankbait. But then the new thing came and the neon orange rod. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. I thought it'd be fun for you to know whenever I'm jig fishing. So definitely that bright orange rod will be the hint. This shore was my shallow bite and my mid bite. The far shore was my crankbait bite. The whole side here was kind of my, oh, uh, this is the middle of the day, not catching anything bite. And I was just about ready to give up because I had tried some frog fishing down on the last part of the lake. And I thought, I'm gonna drift back and doggone it, I'm gonna use a jig. And that was one of the most rewarding things I had happen today, using that jig and catching some fish. Because now I'm opened up to ways to catch fish when the sun's high in the sky, a little bit of wind. Many of you have suggested it for years, so I'm finally trying it. I'm gonna keep working on it. Hopefully I'll have some good videos for you. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one.